Hi there. The humidity is starting to arrive at first in the southwest, then more widely through the next few days, allowing for higher temperatures but also an increased chance of showers and thunderstorms. More on that in a moment, because actually for many of us, there's little change on Thursday night. We've got the North Sea low cloud, which will make inroads further west, just as in previous nights. We've got a cool airflow in place for many places, just like in previous nights. Cool enough, in fact, for temperatures to dip close to, if not slightly below freezing for some shelter parts of northern Scotland. Such a frost here first thing Friday, but a complete contrast towards the southwest. Here, higher temperatures, a more muggy night, 14 Celsius, but also with some showers turning up across parts of Cornwall. That's how we start things on Friday. We've got those showers, some medium level instability courtesy of low pressure edging closer and some occluded fronts. And as that low pressure churns away towards the southwest, we've got a change in the wind direction, more of a southerly component, and that means temperatures are going to rise. We'll see the increased humidity initially in the southwest slowly migrate northeastwards during Friday, Saturday and into Sunday. But at first we've got the low cloud. Now that more quickly burns back to the coast, I think, on Friday morning. By the afternoon, most places are sunny except for parts of northern and eastern Scotland into northeast England. Even East Anglia is seeing a bit more sunshine and higher temperatures as a result. But still on the cool side for the North Sea coast. However, it could be the warmest year of the day so warmest day of the year so far, 26 or 27 Celsius for central southern England possible. Then that higher humidity will lead to some further showers affecting Cornwall and into Devon on Friday night, perhaps even a few flashes of lightning. But that's where it remains, Pembrokeshire as well into Ireland. For the rest of the UK, some of that low cloud reappears, but actually for many it's clear spells. Those temperatures are rising though, you can see 15, 16, perhaps even 17 Celsius, the overnight lows on Friday night in the south and southwest. Still a cool night to come for Scotland, northern and eastern England. However, the low cloud, if any of it turns up on Saturday morning, quickly disappears. And then widespread sunny skies. And here we really see that jump in temperatures, things heating up across central and southeastern parts on Saturday itself. Now, the Humid air in the southwest drifts northeastwards and it actually turns cooler towards the southwest. But there's a sweet spot with the higher humidity and higher temperatures, also the lower pressure, which will allow some of these very significant thunderstorms to develop through central southern England into the Midlands as well as parts of Wales. These will be hit and miss, but where they do occur, there's the risk of impacts. And temperatures will be significantly higher. What a change for parts of Cambridgeshire into North Norfolk, for example, 30, 31 Celsius possible. Likewise, through the Midlands into Northwest England. That's the hottest part of the country, but temperatures are rising most places. I think Northern Scotland, 26 Celsius, Preswick, 27 Celsius or 28. Still notably cool on the coast of Eastern Scotland and Northeast England, less so for East Anglia. And a bit of a cooler day for South Wales and South West England with more cloud in the sky, one or two showers early on. Likewise, sunny spells, but a bit cooler for Northern Ireland. But here's where the heat is, and with that humidity and the lower pressure, that's where the greatest risk of impacts from thunderstorms will be. So it's in this area where hit and miss thunderstorms will occur. It's not a guarantee that you'll see a thunderstorm if you're in the yellow warning area. It just means that you're at an elevated risk of impacts from thunderstorms. Where these thunderstorms occur, torrential rainfall, short space of time, hail and frequent lightning. Doesn't rule out the chance of showers elsewhere because there will be early on in the southwest and perhaps later more towards the north and the east and into Sunday certainly thunderstorms developing a bit more widely across the UK. They're going to be spreading their way northeastwards and we'll keep you updated on all the details of that. Of course, you can find the full weekend forecast on our YouTube channel. But for now, that's all from me. Bye bye.